There are several different ways to manipulate type in Adobe Illustrator. In this video, we are going to walk through three simple techniques to manipulate type to create custom logo types in Adobe Illustrator. Let's go. The first method is going to be to create a ligature. A ligature simply combines two or more letter forms within a logo type. We're going to start off by typing out the name of our logo, which is going to be Francis. And I will set this in the font Bourbon Street. This is a beautiful typeface and I'll show you why in just a bit here. I'm gonna to head to Window Type Glyphs and this will pull up a panel on the side that has all of the different letter forms contained within this typeface here. I'm gonna duplicate this font here just so we can play around with some of those letter forms. I'll highlight, highlight the F and then try out all the different alternates here. You can see some fun letters within this type Bourbon Street. Those R's are just beautiful, but really I'm going to focus on creating that ligature which combines those two or more letter forms together. So I'm going to delete that and head to the R and the A. Let's highlight those and I'll show you how to customize that here. And they already have a beautiful ligature created, so I will just outline this font, adjust the tracking just a little bit here just to get it really nice and tight, outline it, and then we've got our final logo here. Next up, we're going to create a custom letter form. I'm gonna start with the name Elliot set in rough cut by Simon Walker. I'm going to create outlines here. I'm gonna start using the delete anchor point tool and delete that bar within the E so we can customize there. Using the pencil tool, I'm gonna to try out a lot of different styles to try to customize that bar. And you'll see me kind of play with the stroke weight here until I get it just set right. And I'm gonna play with that pencil a little bit more. And it just really is fine tuning. You might have several copies of this as you go, playing with the stroke end caps there, which I'll get to in just a bit. I'm gonna smooth this out just a little bit and start customizing and finalizing this mark here. I always like to duplicate things on the side as I play with it. Using the width tool, you can customize the different widths on the ends and then the middle. And then using the direct selection tool, you can really fine tune the end points and middle points as well. I zoom in and out quite frequently. Sorry, this is making you dizzy. It just helps me as a designer to get the big picture and then zoom in on the fine details. Customizing the stroke weight a bit and also the stroke end caps, you can get a different look there by rounding it out or making it square. You'll see I go back and forth on the side. I like to duplicate things just so I have it in case I wanna go back to that mark as I had it earlier. Outline it and you're good to go with that custom logo type with the customized letter form. And finally, we are going to create a custom serif. I'm gonna start by typing out the name Hank in Folsom by Jen Wagner. I will create outlines so that we can begin customizing this type so it's no longer live text. I'm gonna start by creating a square and then deleting the anchor point to create that triangle. From here, you can zoom in and make sure you have your smart guide set on and that way things will click right into place on the edges of your typeface. Then you can reflect that triangle down to the bottom and snap it just so. And I might kind of tweak it from here and make it a little bit smaller and again reflect that so that it, it mirrors it down to that bottom serif there. From here, I'll begin copy pasting these serifs and creating the rest of the serifs on this same letter form here just by doing that same process of copy paste and reflecting those serifs there. Again, zooming in and out to make sure everything looks just right. I will repeat the steps on the rest of the letter forms here to show you how it translates into the H, A, N, and K. And you can see how this adds a lot of play to the overall look and customizes that typeface from a sans to a playful angular serif. Here's the final result of Hank and you can see how it adds a lot of fun personality to this name. And there you have it, three simple ways to customize type. Really simple, really efficient, really quickly ran through in this video. Feel free to go back and pause in those different sections to try this on your own. There are several ways to manipulate type in Adobe Illustrator, so this is fun to share just three really simple, quick ways to do so. Hope you enjoyed this video, thanks.